Ode to the several species of insect I can hear from my kitchen window. Every evening until the first freeze. For some late September nights, drunk on the smell of wet leaves which will one day turn to mold, the kind of mold I think the scientists call humus, which is not, I have learned, the blessed cream of the chickpea. <laughs> on nights like this, I pray for the miracles of refrigeration and sealing breeze to cease, and for the twang of locust and cricket and some unnameable, downright biblical insects to come cutting through the silence like a backup generator, an old-timey life support sharp as lime. I pray this for my father lived in the constant hum of indoors in dim bars and died in winter, listening then to fluorescent lights and his lungs deliquescing inside him. And I am my father's son and trying not to be exactly. If I have in disgust or fear or selfishness, wanting to keep every drop of my blood my own, wanting not to become food myself the way the earth does, rained down destruction on a million creeping things, I've now learned if I have thoughtlessly and without even the reverence of hatred crushed a million more with my palm or sneaker or flick of the finger, forgive me. Sometimes I wish I could make a music of my body that brought shivers even from kings. Sometimes I wish I could land just long enough to make a policeman slap himself in the face. Have you ever mistaken Kafka for gospel? at your dad's deathbed, his muscles palpitating like trying to throw off flies. Insects, we say, once ruled the world, as if they don't still, as if past tense were anti-venom, as if we could ever govern the dark corners of our dreams, as if the very idea of governance were possible. No, our natures are too strange, too queer to be governed, Power fails. Absolute power also fails. But I have prayed for the power outage. I have studied it. I have made of myself a power outage, a softening, a thrum of votives, a love of the small sounds of evolution and survival, everything I can hear from my kitchen, the skunk that sleeps beneath the house, the owl trying to screech its prey into motion, everything alive scavenging for food or stunting for sex, and the copper smell of the window screen as I press my face to it and listen. <laughs>